Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks search and rescue video. Let's go ahead and check out this plane today. We have a mission to do, uh, but that mission doesn't really involve this plane as such. Uh, apparently there is a fire on some wood piles, so uh, that's a thing. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and use this plane to get over there and assess the situation. So, this thing right here is actually called the Lockheed Vega 5C, and um, yeah, it's on a float. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get inside this thing. Hopefully we can actually get inside. I've had problems. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, let's go. Okie dokie. So, if we can open up this door, which we can't, uh, that would be awesome. Let's go ahead and jump in the seat and I'll show you guys why. So, essentially there is an anchor on the inside and that doesn't allow you to open up the door if you open it up like this. So you gotta push that out of the way, and then you can actually open it up and close it. Very interesting. Anyway, let's get inside the pilot seat and let's get going. There you go, look at that, wood planks are on fire. That's interesting. Uh, anyway, we need to start this thing up. So battery switch is right here. Uh, instrument lights, cabin lights, navigation lights. We don't need landing lights. Uh, generator, yes, magneto, very good. Uh, we need to select a fuel. We'll select left side for right now, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna throttle up a tiny bit. We're going to start the engine with the boost coil. There we go. Excellent. Turn the boost coil back off. I believe that's how it works. Uh, we're going to throttle up and we're just going to go. Okay, is this going to work? I don't know if this is going to work, but sure. We're going to we're gonna try and take off straight away. There we go. Amazing. <laughs> All right, cool. So it's our mission to get over there to check on the, uh, the wood planks to see why they're on fire. To see if we can put them out. I don't know if we've got fire extinguishers on here. Uh, but if we can put them out. We will. Okie dokie, so the weather seems to have got a little bit worse. Honestly, the rain isn't too bad, but the wind is pretty crazy. We're currently flying sort of sideways, which is interesting. Uh, we need to figure out whether we've got a fire extinguisher on board or not. So, let's get in this seat and try and figure it out. We have a first aid kit right there. Uh, we've got, we do have a fire extinguisher, okay. We also have a parachute, we have thermal clothing, and yeah, that's all pretty safe. Okay, we're good then. We're actually good. Uh, we can get onto the roof of this thing as well if we need to. I don't think that's uh, a necessity, a necessity, but that's okay. Um, yeah, okay, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Let's get back in this seat, continue flying in this direction, and we should be good. Yeah. Okay, so if you guys do ever use this plane, uh, I want to say that the heater is actually up here. I don't know whether you'd ever find it, so um, there it is. If you're going to fly to the Arctic in this thing, the heater is right there, uh, which is just to the top left of the cabin. We've also got this down here, which is the parking brake disabled on a float plane. Uh, so that makes me believe that maybe there will be a non-float plane version of this, which would be amazing. I, I really like the design of this. It looks cool. Right, so that looks like the island over there that we need to get to. I don't actually know what the island that is. Is What is that? It's the harbor base. Okay, that makes sense. So according to reports, the harbor storage of wood, uh, of wood planks, has caught on fire. There are no casualties, but the manager is afraid of a fire spread. A fire spread. Okay, I mean, that's, that's interesting. But <laughs> sure, that's fine. We'll go ahead and put that out for him if he needs it. Um, apparently there is actually also a weather warning here as well. Uh, that we're actually flying right towards. There is a warning of extreme weather. Nearby weather stations have detected an incoming impact event. Um, sure. I guess that means meteors, but I really don't know. We, we struggled with meteors yesterday. It blew up our entire plane. So that was a thing. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and land and, uh, hopefully we will have no issues with meteors. Maybe. Okie dokie, so, uh, we can actually land wherever the, wherever we want, to be fair, so that's fine. Uh, we will be landing literally wherever we want, so we'll just park it somewhere out here, that'll be okay. Here we go, go ahead and, uh, stall it into the water. There we go, excellent, that's very good. Extinguish the remaining fires. Unfortunately, that's not something I want to do. <laughs> it's not, it's not something I want to do. 
Um, hang on. I need to drop the anchor. That's what I need to do right now. And I don't know how to do it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, open this up. There we go. Jump outside. Excellent. Grab this. Put it on there. I think this is how we do it. I'm not entirely sure. We grab this. Pull it outside. Throw it out. Okay. Drop it down. Okay. Turn the anchor on. There we go, we're anchored. Okay, that's actually excellent. I was expecting that to be way, way more difficult. But anyway, that's all good. Let's go ahead and turn everything off. So generators off, magneto off, uh, everything else off. Battery switch. There we go. All right, excellent. Let's go backwards and extinguish the fires. We're going to need a fire extinguisher. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Hey, guys. I'm here to put out your fire issues. Uh, worker and manager. Interesting. Where is this going to spread to? Like, really? Where is this actually going to spread to? It wouldn't. That's right. It's not going to spread. Because uh, I'm here to put it out. That's right. That's right. All right, here we go. Are we all out there? I think we're all out. Oh, that one's starting again. There we go. Put out all the fire. Come on. Just go out, please. There we go. All right. I am burning. That's not good. I don't know if our fire extinguisher is actually going to be able to deal with all of this. I guess we can just keep trying and hope for the best. Okay, put that one out first. There we go. All right, that one's going to go out in a second. Excellent, this one. And then we should have done the mission. We did it. All right, three grand. Thank you very much. That was very easy. You guys should definitely have fire extinguishers at this harbor, but never mind. Um, see you later. I'm out of here. Actually, not going to lie, before I leave, I'm actually going to go ahead and sleep. <laughs> We're going to make it daytime before we leave. All right, let's go. Do, 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 do. Just sleeping in someone else's random bed, but that's fine. All right, wake up. There we go. The weather has indeed changed. Doesn't appear to be wavy anymore, but it is raining. Um, yeah, all right, let's get back in the plane and fly away. Yeah, this thing looks sick. And I also really like the idea of having a, an anchor on a plane. It seems weird, the fact that I like that situation, but I do. Anyway, anchor up. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and lift the entire thing up. Uh, I think we then put it inside and then... Oh, I don't know how this works. But sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, lower it down a little bit. All right, there we go. So we grab this and we put this thing inside first. Okay, that didn't work. Try it again. Lift it up. Put it inside. There we go. Excellent. Then we can detach it from here. Maybe. Oh, we can't because I've got a fire extinguisher. There we go. Detach it from here. Attach it back onto there. And there we go. Excellent. Nice. It's all pretty simple and all pretty easy. But here we go. So here is the engine bay. We've got an eight-cylinder double row. Supercharged radiator-cooled diesel engine of 500, sorry, 450 horsepower. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and delete that. <laughs> delete that. That's not what I meant. Uh, right, okay. Inside we get. There we go. Excellent. Uh, go ahead and close up the door. Okay, turn on the battery. And there we go. All right, we're ready to go again. So the way you turn this on is you do this. You do this, you do this. And that's starting the engine. Good, you turn off the booster coil and then you should be able to just take off. Maybe. That's it. There we go, we're in the sky. Excellent. It's so easy to fly. Okay, so if you're wondering what I'm doing now, I'm actually trying to figure out what the weather event is. Um, I can't see anything. Uh, apparently something is actually happening, because if we go here, you can see. Uh, you can see cancel whirlpool, but I, I don't think there's a whirlpool. Not with what it said, anyway, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> they, I guess there could be a whirlpool. I don't know where it is, though. Okay, you know what? I've spawned meteors. I don't know whether we're going to get hit by them, but I figured it would be a cool experiment. So... Uh, let's see where they are, where they come from, and what they do, I guess. I don't know. Oh, there they are, okay. They are flying. Oh, wow, don't they look sick? Look at that one. Oh, and there's lightning. <laughs> God. Okay, there's a lot going on. Okay. Okay, look at that. Boom. So that means there's going to be a radial wave off that one, right? That's how it works? I don't know. I guess we should turn around and have a little look at that. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so after flying for a little bit, I don't actually see a radial wave. So there must be there must be some weather event going on currently that, that made that happen. In fact, actually, wait. There's apparently a tornado somewhere. Where is that? 
It must be around us, because that's the only weather event on the map. It's literally the only weather event on the map, so there's a tornado somewhere. What's that? Why is there a plane? It's just, just diving out of the sky. Oh god. And the, the, the lightning's crazy too. What the? I'm so confused. What plane is that? It's just a random one. I don't see the weather event. I don't see the tornado anywhere, but apparently there is one. That's weird. You know, I don't think I'd actually want to want to land this thing in first person. It seems like it'd be a pretty tricky plane to land in first person. Because you can't really see anything. Like, you, the, you can't see outside very easily, so I don't know what's what's really going on there. But, you know, it's fine. It's okay. Uh, apparently we're turning. We're going to go ahead and continue in the current altitudes. And we're also going to current... Oh. High temperature. Why is there a high temperature? Okay, hang on. Hang on one second. There is an easy way to fix this. We can just, uh... It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. This is a man-made event, by the way. It isn't actually a high temperature. Well, it is. But I made it high temperature. I wanted to see what the, uh... What the engine would do if it got too hot. So I don't know whether it's actually going to set on fire or not. But this is our test. We're going to try and set the engine on fire. Seems weird. But we're going to try it. Okay, so this man-made overheating is is still happening, okay? It's still going on. I don't know what temperature this thing will explode at, but apparently apparently it will, uh, I think. A boat was broken down at engineer's base. Well, they're engineers. They should be able to fix it. There we go. It's on fire. Okay, right. We have a limited amount of time to sort this out. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, it's more on fire than I thought it was ever going to be. Okay. Okay. I should really turn off the engine. Hang on. Hang on. I can't turn off the engine. Okay, right. Uh, okay, I don't think there's a way of me fixing this. I genuinely don't think there's actually a way of me fixing this. Um. Oh! Oh, sick! Okay, we've just made it fly again. Okay, we, we went up a little bit. Uh-oh. Let me in. Alright, okay. Hang on. Hang on. I'm fixing it as we go. I'm fixing it as we go. I'm gonna die. Hang on. Alright, I, I, I fixed myself. Hold on, hold on. We're, we're slowly going down, but that's okay. Put out the fire. Okay, we put out the fire, I think. Yes, we have. Alright, we should be able to fix it now. We should be able to fix it. I want to do it before we hit the ground. Oh, we're not going to be able to. Oh. oh, now it's back on fire. Okay, excellent. What the heck? How am I supposed to fix this? I don't understand. Oh, no. Oh, God. So that was a, that was a man-made exercise in order to see if we could actually put out a fire mid-flight and then fix the engine mid-flight as well. Unfortunately, there appears to be electrical issues in there. It does appear to be electrical issues. Let me just get rid of this. There we go. Put that in there. And then we should be able to grab this one. I need this to fix the engine. There we go. Okay. Oh, no. As soon as we fix something, it, it sets on fire. <laughs> it instantly sets on fire. What's going on in there? We need to turn everything off. Magneto's already off. Everything's already off. Turn the fuel off. I can't. I can't turn the fuel off. I'm gonna die again. What the? No. No. All right. It's okay. We're back. We're back. We're good. We're good. It's on fire. That's not good. Um. Hang up. Hang up. We don't need rope. We don't need the rope. We need this though. Okay. We're gonna try again. Hold on. Put the fire out. Oh my. I can't even. There we go. Fire's out. Good. We're going to get back inside real quick. I need to find a first aid kit if I can see one. I genuinely can't really see those. This is an issue. Uh, anyone see a first aid kit? I used that one. Oxygen mask, defibrillator, empty. I don't see a first aid... Oh, no. This is bad. This is very bad. Okay, give me this. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Ow! No, I'm gonna die! There's a first aid kit! Woo! I found one! Okay, so now I can see again. 
What in the world? How am I supposed to fix this if it just ignites? <laughs> Does anyone know why it's just setting on fire straight away as soon as I fix it? Because I don't know. I genuinely don't know why it would do that. The magnetos aren't on. Nothing's actually on. So it shouldn't be breaking. Because it's not on. Nothing's on. Alright, put it out. No, right, go to the other side. Maybe there's something over there that we need to turn off or something. Alright, I can't open it on this side. I can't even open it on this side. I don't know what to do. Okay, I feel like I fixed it to a point. So, let's just go ahead and try and start this thing. And maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Battery switch on. We still got high temperature, interestingly enough. Turn off the boost coil. Maybe that's what was happening. The boost coil was on. Uh, starter. Our engine is running, and it's not on fire. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, right, let's go. Throttle up, pull up, let's go. I have got the engine cowl wide open, but that's fine. All right, let's go. This looks so dumb. This looks so silly. All I wanted to do was actually get it to an airbase or something. So let's just get it to this harbor over here, and we are all good. In fact, actually... It does seem to just be pitching upwards, so I feel like there is something broken. Maybe it was just that. Okay, I'm jumping out. I'm actually just going to jump out. Get in the seat. Give me a parachute. I'm out of here. See you later. See ya. Actually, you know what I should do? Hang on a second. I need a rope. Can I have this? Here we go. Alright, attach it under there. Oh. <laughs> The anchor's just gone. What the? I need a rope from over here. I'm going to attach myself to this. Because I think it'd be funny. Alright, here we go. Oh, I, I scroll wheel by accident. There we go. Alright, whatever. I mean, you know what? That plane is actually pretty cool. Simulating an overheating issue is actually pretty fun too. Uh, trying to put out a fire, repairing the engine, and then getting back into the plane. It depends what altitude you're at, but it is possible. It is actually possible. But anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. It was very random. Uh, and if you guys want to check out that plane, it will be linked down below. And you guys can uh, play with it for yourselves. But anyway, for now, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.